Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to my channel, Chris ICT Ed TV, and I am Christian Orsavia. Today, I will show you on how to do an interactive mind mapping, um, especially for our students uh, to make a graphic organizer, a concept map, a flow chart, an analysis, an organizational chart, and so on. Uh, this is the best way for them uh, to learn to, to do the summary of a certain topic and for us also teachers to do things on this because it will really help a lot to them on, on how are they going to, to do something uh, for themselves and it will also make them uh, feel comfortable to have such work in having a comprehensive um, output or activity so this time uh, please take a look and have a good time watching and listening to my free interactive mind mapping tool for virtual classroom to our students and teachers so I hope you enjoy watching and learning have a good day so this time I will be going to visit first here in the what in the here I will go to the URL and have to search gitmind, g i t m i d dot com, gitmind dot com, and in that way we I have to we have to see this interface. Get started, make your ideas happen. How can gitmind help you? You can choose here the mind map, the flow chart, the organizational chart, the UML diagram, the swim lane, the analysis chart. These are all very important to our students and we as a teacher also when we do uh, some things, something for our students to, to learn. So, paano ba natin gagawin ito? It is very easy. Why? Because it's already there, a template. But if we want to make our own, then that's also not a problem. No? And in this way also, we could also have here save and sync across the device because it is already auto-save into your device. It's already saved because once you because you need to log in, you have to register first, either by your Google, by your Twitter, by your Facebook, and that is not a problem anymore. So here we have here to go to log in. So I have to choose my Google. So I need to Google, Twitter, Facebook, or Gmail. So I have to go with the. Uh, so I have here a lot of, but this time I'll be choosing my Facebook because I already. Um, on uh, log into my Facebook. So this time you will see this a lot of uh, this this template. So how are you going to do this template? Is just very easy because it's already there. You can have the the new new mind map, the recent the mind map. This now uh, that thing that I have done. You can also delete it if you want to. You can also share it to someone. You no know, share it and you can I have delete it. But I have to start a new one. The flowchart, the collaboration, the, the, one, the, the thing that you shared, your collection and the trash. So this time, how are you going to make it is we have to go back here. So we have to go to the gitmine.com, gitmine, balik ta sa gitmine, we have to go back and we have to go to get started. So since I already logged already my account here using the, the Facebook that I have sign in so i have to go back to the other gitmine.com and i can see here some my in the mind map i have here education the product the engineering the sales the operations how to and also we have also here the analysis the lane the uml the organizational chart the flow chart and it's also very important why because you could actually see that in your own way uh, for you to be able to access on it so this time we have either we have to make our own new mind map or new flow chart it depends on you so this time i will be going to choose uh, gagawin ko ay pipili ako ng new mind map i have to choose the new mind map so education so i have to choose new mind map why because that will also very easy so you will be seeing the interface right now that's now the new mind map so i have here to put because uh, i am teach, um uh, let's go and choose the topic the main topic is so for example we have to choose science 
And as we all know, there are a lot of branches of science and that is not a question after all. So, paano ba ito gagawin ito is we have to click this floating node here. We have to click this floating node. Diyot muna natin. So, I have to click this floating node and you will see it here. And you have to click that. Once you click it, you have to put it here. So, you have the main theme. So, what are the branches? So, you have to so go to biology. So, paano mo ito? Uh, how are you going to connect? Paano mo i-connect yan? Is, dito mo lang i-click. Since si science, uh, si biology a part ng science. So, dito natin i-connect. I-click natin si science. And you have to click the relation line. This relation line will identify that. Like that. You have to click it here. And you already have now your own connector. So, we have here connector na natin. The sign. You can also have to move it to... So, you don't need much to adjust and adjust and adjust because you can actually move it. Oh, see? Okay. But if you're going to click only the the branch, you, it's only the one thing that it will move. But if you will have to click the main topic, everything will also be followed by that. So, I have to click that biology. And for after that, because there are a lot more, so we have also to go to another part. So, we have here... Um, chemistry chemistry so we have here chemistry so we have to also connect relation lines so I, didn't, I will have to connect this because if I have to connect that chemistry the arrow will be placing here but that's not correct so we have to ch uh, change and make it here so this time you already have your connector so I have to move since uh, I have to, to focus only these two branches because uh, I know that there are a lot more so I have to make it three so that uh, you will not be also confused uh, kung paano gagawin so we have to add another one so we have here astronomy or physics physics uh, I love physics okay we have here to connect now relation line okay so it Ma it will be easier for the teachers also to do this uh, for the for the students uh, when uh, the uh, when the teacher will let them make uh, their own summary of a certain topic and connector a graphic organizer a concept map a flow chart this will really help them a lot and aside from that uh, it could also give them the, the way of uh, to have such um, mind mapping tool uh, in their own way so i have to go now to biology what is inside the biology so ano ba ang mga na topic natin sa biology mga branches na mga sub branches man niya ay we will now go to anatomy anatomy okay so we have to click it uh, i have to choose the relation line again and that's okay hindi na kami so we have to click the relation okay so we have their anatomy so in that way also we can also see uh here the because anatomy is, is also there in the the human system so we have to go to the this taxonomy Taxonomy. So we have there taxonomy. Up, oh, we made a wrong one. Okay, you have to click this. So in that way, uh, madali lang na mga uh, mga mag-aaral natin na uh, gawin ito because is uh, because uh, when we have our topic, uh, they will have uh, easy. They will be go. Uh, it will be easier for them to have this. And after that, uh, last na lang gagawin natin, alam natin malaming yung uh, biology, so we have to add one, we have to click um, genetics, genetics, so well, hindi natin, hindi natin kinapitalize para ibig sabihin sa branches siya, and we have there, okay, ano to, okay, so we have there, Okay, so if you're going to make it, so you have the, the way to adjust. Okay, 
So if you don't want, uh, uh, for example, you're going to make like that, it's your own way, it's your own prerogative. If you want to make like that, it's all right. It's all right. Okay. It's on your prerogative to make it. No? Paano pa natin gagawin ng iba pa nito is, is we're going to have it in this way. Tapos dyan, dito tayo sa genetics. So, sa genetics naman, meron tayong um, mga non-mendilan pattern of inheritance. Uh, so, we have to make another one. Uh, for example, uh, we have the matatapik natin dito is the incomplete dominance. Yung mga topic na niya, incomplete dominance. So, so we have the genetics. So, we have, again, to put a line. Next is we have also um, the codominance is very easy. Codominance. Codominance. Okay, so we can also have another relation line. Okay, so we have here in a determinant of chemistry. So, even you didn't, we cannot have to make a lot, a lot of, so just have to summarize and just uh, uh, get a few of those. So, the chemistry, we have, we have organic chemistry and in organic chemistry, so dito, uh, we have to, to choose organic chemistry. So, we have organic chemistry and also we have connecting line. Okay. That's it. So in that way, um, you can also change the background because you don't like the background. You can also change the background, you no? Know? And if what do you want? Uh, for example, this or this or this. You can have your own way to do your own background. It's all your design, all your. So you have to go back here. Yes, you will see as recent save. It will also see successfully save. That means it's auto save already. You can share it later on, and you can also have to. Okay, we have to go to the theme. That's the theme. You can also choose what theme are you going to use. You can have it this way. So a lot of. It depends on you. So you can also have see a different um tools here. We have the insert sub node. For example, uh, itong codominus na ito. Uh, you're going mo ng sub node so you can also click sub node what, what, what are the topics sub topics in the codominance ano bang mga na discuss niya dito you can look at the multiple alleles and so on and so forth uh, you can have it that way so since organic chemistry naman it's, you can have it um, is a chem as a branch of science that this with a study of a carbon containing compounds so if it's a, car a carbon containing we can also discuss the the, the hydrocarbons. Uh, in the hydrocarbons, we have there um, the alkanes, the alkynes, the cycloalkanes, and the alkenes. Uh, you can also have it there in the organic chemistry. In the physics, it's, it's very broad. You can discuss the light, the, uh, the optics, the the sound. Uh, a lot of it can be discussed uh, because science is so broad, you know and a lot of things to be discussed in science and that's a way of to, to do and aside from that once you already have it you can also save it so successfully save and once you all log in back to this is all uh, you can also see it in your previous work you can have it you can see it here later on uh, we will see it and uh, that's the only way to have it in this so what else are we, we can do you can also see uh, attach, uh, attach files. You can also see uh, the change layout, the reset, and cooperation. You can also have a lot of. So this is now, if I'm going to, to print it, uh, download it, export it in, uh, in a Word, a Microsoft Word document. So this is the type outline that you're going to see. It's just like in a PowerPoint that you can also see it there. And you also have a... Um, the icon what are you icon your priority it all depends on you so you can also see that so you can expect that your students will create a 
a more dramatic, a more comprehensive um, outline because uh, they see uh, its importance after all. You can also zoom in and zoom out and if you want to make it uh, just smaller, you can still have it. So, and if you want also to, to share it, you can also share it. Okay, that's the, the link. You will be given a link and you will go, for example, uh, if you want your students to access on this, you just have to give the link and give the password and the advert and the, but we, we don't have it, so we just have to click the link. And you have to export. What do you want to export? Either an image file in a PNG format, in a Microsoft Word, in an image file, in a GPG, PDF. So it's all your way of, if, for example, we would like, we will go to PDF. Now we will look at it. If it will be downloaded into PDF, see, it's here. So I and I know you already see it there. Uh, it's already in a PDF. So if you want also to, to save it in a micro in an image file, uh, we can also have it to download in an image file. So see, that's on already an image. That's the PNG. That's the, that, that's the PDF. That's a, G, uh, a PNG. So. You, there are a lot of things that are, uh, we can also expect that our students can make it by their own because I know our students are very creative, artistic, and in that way they, uh, they can also uh, choose and use their, their own imagination, their own idea based on their understanding of the topic that we have discussed. For example, if our topic is all about the pay tectonic theories, they will also specify the different boundaries, the, specific, uh, the different theories uh, that, that supports the pay tectonic theory, and also the different uh, the poll uh, and that's the only way we, we can to make sure that our students uh, uh, are talang, talagang learning uh, they, they really have learning after all so so that's it so i i hope i hope i let you understand i hope i, I express uh, the way it is uh, I am hoping that uh, there is really learning in you and I hope that you will also share this to your friends, to your students, to your co-teachers, uh, the importance of interactive mind mapping tool using the gitmind.com and that's very important. So I hope you enjoy. Please do not forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for more updates. Have a good day. Bye-bye.